Hi, my name is Leila Josephine and I'm school's writer in residence for the Edinburgh International Book Festival. I'm really excited to be here on the very first Citizens Winter Warmer and I'm going to be taking you through a really straightforward workshop as an introduction to self-portrait poetry. Now, if you'd like to be involved, please take this time to go grab a pen and a piece of paper. Now, this workshop's suitable for a seven plus, but if you can write a Think you should have a go at it because it is really fun and really easy to do. Once you've got your pen and paper, please write down the words I am 21 times down the side of your page. 21 times. So make sure you've got plenty of space. It doesn't matter about the handwriting or the spelling. That's not what's important here at all. But just make sure that you've got it 21 times down the side of your page. I try and do it 20 times, but there's always like another couple of questions I just want to squeeze in. So I've managed to just make it 21 this time. Now, once you've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you a series of questions, 21 questions to be exact. And what you're going to do is after every I am, you're going to answer one of the questions. So for example, the first question I'm going to ask you is, if you were an animal, what animal would you be? And then, for example, if you thought you were going to be a tiger, I'm definitely not a tiger, I'm more of a sloth, but maybe you think that you would be a tiger, you would write, I am tiger. And that would be your very, very first I am, your very first line of your I am poem. Okay, let's get started. So as I said before, the first question is, if you were an animal, what animal would you be? Now, I usually think that the first thing that comes into your head is usually the correct one. The second question is, if you were a type of land, what type of land would you be? So maybe you're a jungle or a forest or a desert. If you were a type of land, what type of land would you be? And the third question is, if you were a colour, what colour would you be? And maybe you can't pick one. Maybe you need to put a couple and that's okay. Just as long as you stay on the same line. So you should have done three lines by now. Three I ams. The next one is that if you were a food, what food would you be? Remember to try and be specific. Rather than just do macaroni cheese, is it your grandma's macaroni cheese? Details really, really help poems stand out. So if you were a type of food, what type of food would you be? The next one is if you were a place, what place would you be? This could be a country or a city or maybe somewhere more specific like your bedroom. The next one is, if you were a view, what view would you be? Would you be the view over from your roof? Or would you be the view over a city that you love? If you were a view, what view would you be? Maybe from the number four bus? If you were a season, is the next one. If you were a season, what season would you be? You're doing so well. Even though these are, these are quite even though these are quite straightforward questions, I'm sure it's quite hard to think sometimes. So if you really don't know, you can just skip one out. So the next one is if you were a song, what song would you be? If you were a song, what song would you be? I think it changes all the time for me. But right now I'd probably be something quite poppy and upbeat, maybe some Lizzo. Okay, the next one is a little bit different. I want you to write the name of somebody that you look up to. 
the name of someone that you look up to. And maybe it's more than one person. Maybe it's someone very close to you or maybe it's a celebrity. Someone that you look up to. The next one's a little bit different again. I want you to write three character traits that you have that are positive. So three things about your personality that are po positive. For example, for mine, it would probably be caring, social, and fun. Three things, and this can all be on the same I am. Three things that are good things about your personality. I'm sure you can think of loads because I bet you're a brilliant person. And the next line is three things about your personality that are maybe not so good. So maybe something that you need to work on. So for example, mine is probably... I'm quite messy. Sometimes I don't listen very well and um, I can be late quite a lot. Three things that are not that good about your personality. Okay, are we ready for the next one? If you were a natural disaster, what natural disaster would you be? Would you be a hurricane or a tornado? What would you be? If you were a natural disaster, what would you be? The next one is if you were a sport, what sport would you be? I'm not very sporty, so this one's a bit hard for me. But I'm sure there's some people out there that are quite sporty. If you were a sport, what sport would you be? Remember, you can always skip if you're stuck. Quite a lot of thinking to be doing, so I totally understand if you need to skip one or two. The next one is, if you were a building, what building would you be? So maybe you'd be something iconic like the Eiffel Tower, or maybe you'd be something more general like a bridge or a tower or a skyscraper. Maybe you're your local library. If you were a building, what building would you be? And the next one is a little bit different. I want you to write down the best piece of advice that you have ever been given. The best piece of advice that you have ever been given. And if you can't think of one, maybe you have a piece of advice that you always give to other people that you think is really good. the best piece of advice you've ever given or received. The next one is, what are your dreams? What are your dreams? And maybe you think about what your aspirations are, so what you want to do in the future, or maybe it's more like what you see when you close your eyes and go to sleep at night. Either works. What are your dreams?
And the next one is, what are you scared of? What are your fears? I really don't like spiders. What are your fears? The next one is, if you were a movement, what movement would you be? If you were a movement, what movement would you be? Would you be a hug or a flick or a kick or a twirl? If you were a movement, scratch the nose maybe. If you were a movement, what movement would you be? Remember, usually your first thing that pops into your head is usually the thing that you should write. And the next one is, if you were a sound, what sound would you be? If you were a sound, what sound would you be? Would you be a child giggling? Would you be rain on a window? If you were a sound, what sound would you be? Maybe you'd be a scream. The next one is, if you were a time of day, what time of day would you be? If you were a time of day, what time of day would you be? Would you be in the morning or in the middle of the night, maybe late in the afternoon? If you were a time of day, what time of day would you be? The next one is, a physical characteristic that you have that is unique. So maybe for me, it would be my fringe. I am a big fringe. <laughs> or maybe it's you've got a tiny little nose. Or maybe you wear round circle glasses. What is a physical attribute that is unique to you? And the final one, the last one, well done, you've made it the whole way through. The last one is, what do you spend most of your time doing? So maybe you spend most of your time sleeping, but you could also say, you know, I do a lot of jigsaws. Whatever it is, what do you really enjoy doing and spending time doing? Where can we usually find you? What are you up to? And that's going to be the last one. So get that written down and you will have completed the first stage. Now, what's next is editing. So you have to go back through and make sure that it makes sense. So sometimes the song one doesn't make quite sense or the best piece of advice doesn't make like grammatical sense. So you might have to change it slightly just so that I am reads something that makes a little bit more sense. And if you like, you can add some becauses somewhere. So you could say I'm purple because or I'm a dog because um, and you can change the order up a little bit. So some of them might be good together. Some of them might be better spread apart. You can decide which goes at the top and which goes at the bottom. And maybe even you decide to take out some of the I am's because actually it works quite well as a list. And the I am works as a kind of thing that goes the whole way through that gives it a little bit of rhythm. But sometimes you don't need it. So that is us at the end of our workshop. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoy the rest of Citizens Winter Warmer coming to you in your homes. If you'd like to send me your poem, please email citizen at edbookfest.co.uk. We're really excited to read them and see them. So please do send them in. And if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a lovely day.